everyone, in my never-ending quest of making my 911.2 Porsche Carrera T my own, I'm gonna show you how to replace the mirror housing and go from this to to that. A lot of Porsche 911 models, depending on the trim you get, comes with a different mirror cap color, especially the Carrera T, which comes with these gray accents. So you've got these gray accents here. Typically wheels are gray, but this car has been optioned uh, with black wheels. You've got the gray stripe here. You've got badging in the back that's gray. Uh, the grill in the back is gray. And of course, the mirror caps are gray. But in my humble opinion, now with the tint and the black wheels, the mirror caps simply do not work. So I had to come up with a solution. And that solution is super simple. Picking up a set of used GT3 RS uh, mirror assemblies without the actual motor inside and swapping my gray ones for these matching yellow ones. But whereas this bottom section is black, as you can see on the ones that I installed, the bottom section is gray. It's because I kept the bottom section of the actual mirror housing and I only replaced the top. That way I can still match with the gray stripe as well as the headlight trim. Oh, and honestly, looking at a mirror that's matching the body of the car seems a lot more pleasant than looking at a mirror that's completely mismatched. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but to me, it just looks kind of cooler. In terms of tools needed for the job, this is pretty much what you need. Uh, uh, some sort of a pick tool, a T10, another pick tool, and a magnet to take out some uh, hard to reach screws. Also, some tape. I'm gonna show you why we need that tape. And in my case, uh, I got some extra mirror housings just so I can practice the actual removal because as I'm about to show you, the actual housing is actually separated into three pieces. So see, so this is the front piece that we're gonna be taking out. And this is the back piece that we're gonna be taking out. First thing to do is you have to remove the actual mirror glass. To do that, you tilt the mirror away so you can have a gap here for your finger. And then essentially you just wanna snap it out of the snapper. Don't worry, you're not gonna break anything. So it snaps out, you've got some clips in there. And then in the back, you've got these cables. These are the cables that you're gonna mark so you don't uh, mess up the order. And you can simply just pry it out, pry this out. Then you've got a clip here. You've got a cable that you take out of this housing and simply unclip this clip. That clip is gonna be a little tricky, so you might as well use uh, some sort of a pick tool. And I'll put this in a safe place. Next, you grab your T10 and take out the motor. Just remember its uh, orientation. You see that little barcode? Uh, it's pointing towards, uh, towards this side. I took a picture of it just so I can remember. And now, in the back of that motor, you have another clip here that you simply unclip. There you go. Put that in the safe place, as well as the screw that fell down on the floor. Next, we've got one, two, three of those T10s that are attaching this back housing to the front housing. So let's remove them. And just keep in mind the one that's on the edge is a little smaller than the rest of them. And this is where the magnet comes in. It's a little stuck in there, so I just like to grab a magnet, see, and it pulls it right out. And now, as I showed you earlier, the mirror housing is actually comprised of multiple pieces. So this piece separates as in this front piece, this is from the other side. So what we can do is you basically apply some pressure up top, which then allows you to separate this piece. Again, apply pressure here by pushing it down and that'll release the clips. And I'm happy to inform that no clips have been broken in the making of this video. Oh, check this out. Before we proceed any further, look, you can simply install the front housing and, and have this trim like that. I'm gonna take a picture of what it looks like from this side, roughly. I mean, there are so many combinations you could do, or you could keep this area gray and, and, and replace this with the yellow one. In my case, I'm replacing both of the pieces with, uh, with uh, yellow, and I'm keeping the bottom piece gray. Next is we're gonna move this metal housing, which will allow us to remove the back piece. This is what it looks like. And now that this is out, you simply remove the back piece, unclip it from its clips. You're gonna have to push them and pull the bracket out. Okay, there you go. You kinda have to, you kinda have to take this pin and push the clips from the back 
which will dislodge them. Ugh. There you go. So again, you take this pick, go from, be from behind, push it, and that allows this whole assembly to slide out. And now we take the yellow assembly or whatever color uh, you choose and we install it. First, we install it over the clips and you hear them click. There we go. Okay, good. Next, we're going to put this housing back in place. And just like previously, you can of course put the yellow one, but you can also put the front gray trim, which roughly, here, let's hide these cables, would look kind of like this. That is, I've got to say, not a bad look. But in our case, we're going to put the yellow piece back in. So let's take this guy out, slide all the cables out, match all the holes, and just slide everything back in place. Next, we're going to put the screws back in. Before you do anything else, just clean the area here. Ah, it would bug me. Even though you'll never see it, it would bug me. Next, we're going to take the motor and just like before, look, we're going to plug it in here. See, P for purple, P for purple, plugging it in. All right, it's nice and snug. And it was positioned somehow like this. So let's put it back in place like it was. And then take your T30. Next is you take your mirror. Look, you can see yourself in it. Uh, and first we're going to attach this clip. And now, because we marked our cables, you see yellow goes here, the other one goes to the bottom. So let's do this again. This one goes here, and this one goes here, all right. And now, there's no easy way to show it. You just basically press the housing in, and when you press the mirror, uh, actual mirror in, don't press it on the edges, press it in the middle. See? And it clipped right in. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how easy it is. And this is the final product, ladies and gentlemen. If, uh, excuse the backdrop, I'm doing some renovations, so you have to live with it, but in my mind, this is a much, much better look. And we are still keeping with that gray accent theme, as I mentioned earlier. We're matching with the stripe and we're matching with the headlight bezel. But from any angle that you look at it, it just looks a lot better, in my opinion. Look at it from, from this side. The little ears poke out just a little more. Now, one thing to notice is that these mirror housings are obviously used the whole car is PPF'd, but the mirror housings are not. So there are two nicks here that we're going to have to address. There's a little tiny nick here, and then on the other side, I believe there's a tiny nick somewhere over there. Yeah, right there. There's a little, uh, there's a little nick, uh, but that's nothing that I cannot fix. So I'm going to do it eventually. I'll get them PPF'd. And purchasing them with the right color saved me a couple of hundred dollars uh, from having to paint whatever uh, new mirror housings I got. So I was specifically searching for yellow ones and I found them. This is a perfect match for my GT3 RS. And again, I could not be more excited. And I just noticed, check this out. So you see that yellow, see how it ties in with the yellow stitching, yellow stitching goes this way and bam, super, super cool. I'm very happy. <coughs> So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I actually have COVID. I'm isolating myself. My kids and my wife are out of the house, so I decided to do this. I'm in my uh, third day, so I'm doing a lot better, still not 100%. So if I didn't have the level of energy that I expect from these videos, I apologize. But every tool, or the few tools that I used in this video, I'm gonna link in the description for your pleasure. Uh, the mirror caps I actually found used on eBay, but you can find them from many different sources. You could now see how easy it is, and you can truly customize the look of your uh, 911. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll answer every single one of them. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.